What's up, Rocky Creek Elementary School? This is Mr. Coulson. Let's have an art lesson. First thing we're going to do while we're at home doing art is we're going to make a sketchbook. Now, a lot of you guys are saying right now, Mr. Colson, I'm good. I already have a sketchbook. We made one at the beginning of the year. Or maybe I already have a sketchbook. I bought a sketchbook. I have a lot of sketchbooks, whatever. Well, okay, that may be the case. You know, we did pass out the sketchbooks Friday and hopefully a lot of those made it home. But I noticed that half the kids weren't even at school Friday. And some kids didn't make these early in the year because they missed that day or they weren't even at the school. So uh, I'd like to make another sketchbook. And you can't have too many sketchbooks. Why do I need a sketchbook? Just for Mr. Colson's class? No, you got to think bigger than that, okay? Sketchbooks are a great thing for a creative mind to have. You want to jot down your ideas in here. So anytime you think of something on your own to draw or paint, um, it doesn't have to be visual arts. It could be that you want to jot down ideas for a book that you want to write. Or maybe a really cool song lyric comes to mind and you want to write that down so that you can remember it. That would be great. Some people record their dreams in sketchbooks. Pretty weird, right? Uh, you know, if you're going to play a prank on somebody and you want to plan it out in detail. Wait, don't do that. Uh, recipe ideas, on fashion design, interior decorating. People have lots of really cool ideas and then later they cannot remember them. So you're going to need three things to make a sketchbook. First of all, you need paper. It doesn't have to be fancy drawing paper that you can buy at the store. Uh, it could just be printer paper like this. This is 8x10 printer paper. You can also use lined paper, whatever you feel comfortable drawing on. The second thing you need is uh, something for the cover. I have construction paper here. Construction paper is great if you're using the 8x10 paper because it's slightly larger than the 8x10 paper. The last thing you need is a stapler. Now if you don't have a stapler or um, you don't have one that's big even, you know, don't fret. Don't worry about it. I'm going to show you some other ways to bind your sketchbook. So let's get started. You're going to take your papers and start folding them in half. Now. What that means is you just put the corners all the way, corner to corner, and we're going to fold it this way, hamburger. This is what we call hot dog style in elementary school, hot dog. And this way is the hamburger, right? So we're going to fold it hamburger style, and you're going to fold 10 pieces of paper that way. 10 pieces of paper. If you fold more that way, then it's going to be harder to bind. Okay, now I have my 10 pieces of paper folded. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna stack them on top of each other like this so that they are uh, all, they all fold together this way. I guess you could have folded them all at the same time, but then they wouldn't have been as straight. Uh, then you're going to take your piece of construction paper, whatever color you want to use, and you're also going to fold it in half, hamburger style, of course. Make sure the corners are lined up, and then smooth it out nice and neat. And then you're going to put your papers inside your cover, like that. Okay. The next step, we are going to use our stapler to staple this together. If you don't have a stapler, then just hang on a second and I'll show you another way. So you're going to line your papers up nice and neat inside and then flip it over so that it's face down. And uh, just kind of make sure, you know, feel it, put your fingers under there and make sure it's in the right spot. 
Now you can't just staple it this way because your stapler won't reach. See, it won't reach. Especially if you have a stapler like this. You got no chance. But uh, what you gotta do is you just fold it. It's not a big deal. You're just gonna fold the book. And then you may have to open, this is hard to get across there, so you have to open up your stapler. For mine, it has a little button on the bottom you press. Um, and then I can fold my book and I can put it on the seam here and press down. Nice. It's okay if it's not perfect, right? Because, you know, nobody's perfect. And you're going to have like a bend in your book here, but that's okay. So now I'm going to do this again. Now professionals have what they call long arm staplers. And obviously they don't have bend. You know, when you buy books, they don't have these weird bends in them. And that's because their staplers are longer. I actually have a long, we have long arm staplers at our school. But uh, I imagine you guys don't have those. Now if yours isn't even this big, uh, another thing that you can do is take a thumbtack like this and you can put the holes in there um, and then put the staple in, open it up and mash it down with something hard like a, a ruler or a butter knife or something like that. Um, another thing that I've seen people do is take the stapler, open it up and then they'll just staple into it with something soft under it or air even. And then it will, the staple will go straight through and stick straight out. Uh, and then they can fold it down. Let's say you don't like the whole staple idea at all. and you, But you do want to bind your book together. Well, uh, one thing you can do is just punch some holes in here along the spine. And then you can weave yarn through the spine. I'm not going to show you guys that. You can imagine that. You can look somewhere online and find that. But... Basically, you just put holes in it, weave the yarn all the way through and back, and then tie it. Uh, or a string or ribbon. So that, that's another way to get it done. Listen, you don't have to make your sketchbook exactly the way I made my sketchbook. This is a great proven way to make a sketchbook that's uh, going to work really well. Um, but feel free to scour the internet and find some really cool techniques for making sketchbooks or just come up with one completely out of the blue on your own. I came up with this idea. I uh, found these zip ties in my garage um, and I, these kind of go together by you just pull the plastic through here and then I'm not going to do it because it it stays in there and you got to cut it off to get it off. But um, I use zip ties around some washers and that allowed me to really go thick with my sketchbook. Instead of folding the cover, I cut out two cardboard pieces. And uh, I used these little metal washers that I found in my garage and put the zip ties around them after I uh, drilled a hole through it. Now, I know that's extreme. Not everybody's going to have a drill available, um, you know, or somebody that can do that. But I'm just showing you that, you know, you can come up with creative ideas with the things that you have around your house to make your own sketchbook, your own style. So this was my first time ever doing anything like this, making a video art lesson. I had a lot of fun. It's not the same. I miss you guys. Seeing your faces really is what drives me and makes my job the best job in the world. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know and please send me pictures of you know what you're working on if you have any trouble then email me or message me in your Google classroom I'm here for you guys and I miss you guys